Hello, second graders. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Mrs. Kelsey misses all of you. Today, we're going to continue remembering our strings, our woodwinds, our brass, and percussion instruments from the orchestra, but we're gonna play a guessing game. If we were at school, we would use clothespins to guess, but I'm gonna show you a chart that I like to use that reviews lots of different instruments we've talked about in the orchestra. This is like a game you play with yourself. You just see how many you can get right. I'm gonna be playing some examples for you to guess from, but let's read their names first. Trumpet, timpani, cello, tuba, violin, bassoon, flute, harp, oboe, clarinet, saxophone, xylophone, string bass, or sometimes we call it a double bass, viola, piano, trombone, French horn, snare drum. And I'm sure you already realize that's a mixture of strings and woodwinds and brass percussion instruments. Let's now listen to each one at a time. See if you can guess which instrument you are hearing. Here's the first example. <laughs> What do you think? Trombone. Good try. Here's the next one. What do you think? It was definitely one of the strings. The highest, smallest, violin. Good job. Here's the next one. That one was used for one of the characters in Peter and the Wolf, the bassoon from the Woodwind family. Here's another one. I bet you got that one. That was the bird in Peter and the Wolf, the flute. Let's keep going. also used in Peter and the Wolf for the hunters, the timpani drums or kettle drums. Next one. one of the bigger strings, cello. Here we go again. What do you think? We finally got to hear a member of the brass family, the trumpet. What do you think of that one? Clarinet. 
That was used for the cat in Peter and the Wolf. That one sounds fun to play. The snare drum. made me feel like dancing. I bet you might have felt the same way. That was the string bass or double bass, that great big string family instrument. Next one. That's another one from Peter and the Wolf, the oboe, which was used for the duck in the story. Next one. we heard in Peter and the Wolf. That was the French horn which was used for the wolf. Now here's a very distinctive one. I bet you knew that one, the harp, which is the most distinctive member of the string family. Here's another one. We don't have too many left now. saxophone, the woodwind instrument, which is a popular band instrument. Next one. Ah, that was the violins big brother, the viola. Good job. Now we've got three more left. What do you think of that one? The xylophone. Did you recognize the 
the song they were playing, I'm a Little Teapot? It sounds really different when you hear it so low on the tuba. Good job guessing tuba. I think there's one more left. No, I think that's, no, here it comes. The piano, which is used mostly as a solo instrument in the orchestra. You might also remember Mrs. Wilmot playing piano so wonderfully for us at our winter concerts. I'm going to be silly and I'm going to peek in here so I can say thanks for guessing and have a great week. Bye-bye.